Southeast Texas Weekly, brought to you by the Modern Vein Surgery Institute at Privity Clinic for Surgical Care. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Southeast Texas Weekly. I'm Kevin Steele. Great to have you with us. Let's talk politics with a couple of the finest folks you'll ever want to meet. Joining me today to talk further about this, uh, many of these big issues today, State Representative James White. On the far right from Hillister. Republican yeah. from Hillister. Yeah. Jeff right Lewis, right. Godfrey Leggett, activists for their respective parties. The GOP here, the Democratic Party here. Iraq and Obama, two key words we're looking at even as we speak as press releases continue to filter from the White House. Iraq is erupting right now really into a, a, a sectarian violence that uh, eclipses really anything that we've seen even since three years ago before the U.S. Uh, left. The, the level of violence throughout the country, Mosul has fallen, Kirkuk appears to have fallen uh, to the insurgents, ISIS is, uh, is running rampant. You know, what we're paying for here is the sins of World War II, when we, or actually right after World War I, we kludged all these pieces into one country called Iraq that didn't really exist before that, okay? And, and also we're paying for George Bush unleashing the bottle, the genie out of the bottle, by taking the strong man, which we put in PR, by the way, Saddam Hussein, and when we removed him from the picture, all of a sudden these groups started fighting with each other. I'm stunned at your criticism of George Bush, but uh, <laughs> well, uh, let me ask this uh, about... Uh, it's raining outside. It's George Bush's fault. Yeah, that's <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Stop raining. What, what do you think about the appropriate action of the administration now? Uh, evidently, ISIS has, uh, has taken hold of enough cities mm -hmm. and is threatening Baghdad itself only 40 miles away. <clears throat> is it appropriate in this kind of context for the administration even to use airstrikes? Well, I think it's appropriate for the president to use whatever he thinks is necessary to maintain our national interests in Iraq. Uh, unfortunately, I don't understand why the president continues to do this, is he's the, he's the president, the leader of the strongest military on earth, and before he starts to act, he takes things off the table. Everything should be on the table. We need to protect our national interest. So, Jay, what's our table? What is our national interest in Iraq? Well, obviously, Godfrey, it's uh, definitely blood and treasure. It's blood and treasure and not having... Uh, we shouldn't have wasted all that blood and treasure. That's right. We okay, never, but... Well, I'm not really sure about we're that. We're 10 years really invested sure into that. this, and we're going to throw that all the way. We're going to... It was just, thrown away just, the day we went in. I, 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 con con I contend that we never had control of Iraq, and if we stayed another 10 years, we wouldn't have control of Iraq. As soon as we leave, the situation we didn't have ISIS. Is. Uh, the point is not for us to control oh, the rock. It's for, a, for, a rock, for a rock to have the ability to uh, self-govern. Okay, that's been taken away. Okay, we don't. They they didn't have support. We left a little bit too early. We said that when we left. What three I'm years saying ago. is, Jeff, no matter how long we stayed, they would have never been in a position to self-govern because you've got a bunch of people living how here long that have don't been in want Germany? to live together. So, so, so how long, long have we been in Germany, Godfrey? Uh, a long time, but they're, Germany okay. is now friends. How long have we been in Japan? A long time, but so our troops never our come chains. home. No, we have bases around the world. Our troops never come home. But we have bases around the world, but not where people are warring with us. U.S. Okay? Senator John McCain now says the entire national security team of the president should resign. Less than three years after we left, Iraq is in uh, disarray. Is this a failing of uh, of, of of the secretary of, of the? And, of and we the should defense? listen to a failed presidential candidate. Why? Failed presidential candidate. Yeah, okay, John McCain. John McCain. Uh, John McCain. We should is, listen to he a did U.S. Run, president. Has he did state. run for office and didn't get elected. So obviously, a majority of the country didn't like his ideas. Yeah. Okay. So him, him and Dick Cheney and George Bush, and the whole cabal that got us into Iraq. Forget that. Uh, I got news your for argument. You. A majority is, of the country is, doesn't think that Barack Obama is strong on foreign policy right now either. So from okay. the Joint Chiefs of Staff, uh, Godfrey on down, the Joint Chiefs of Staff on down, they have acted properly and they have kept these hot spots around the world. Um, in check. Contained. Slightly contained. Okay. So when you see the uh, violence in Syria, the continued violence in Egypt. There's a lot of problems, the, Kevin, that we can't solve. There's but you don't blame that on the national security team? Well, okay. What, do you, what would you have us do, uh, Jeff? What would you have us do? Okay, what? Number one, okay, if you're really talking about splitting up Iraq into three different countries, okay, yep, that, that right. is a very, very bad move. Okay, All it's going to take is for the first motivation. You see Iran's already coming out quote, fight on Iraq's behalf. That is a problem, okay? Right now it's a Shiite versus Sunni, but eventually it's going to turn into a power grab. 
and you're going to see the uh, that well could be. You're, you're going to see you're going to see a United Islamic Republic develop in the Middle East. That may happen. That may happen no matter what we do. And Kevin, I think if you look at the total picture here, we have Putin marching across Eastern Europe. We have Benghazi. We have a failed energy policy that would have given us the international pivot in order China to help the world. Saber. We've got China saber, saber rattling. I think there's something to be said about the Obama. I want to talk to this man team. about immigration. We have another crisis, that being that of on our southern border, on our southern border, right. that of unaccompanied children <clears> crossing <throat> into the United States uh, in an undocumented way from Central America to a large extent, and. Uh, so they've called it uh, a humanitarian crisis. It some, is. Some of the experts yeah. have. It is. If we, had an actual, if we had an actual immigration policy. What no, could the, that, what that's what the let me first comment right here. Do. Um, it's not. I don't know when this is going to air, but Friday morning I had the opportunity to be on a conference call with DPS and not having a comprehensive immigration plan that, that turns into amnesty is not the reason why we have the the, the crises on the no, border. The reason we have the crisis on the border is social unrest and political instability in Central America. And we have an administration that has a narrative out there that's telling people if you show up here, you got a meal ticket, you got a detention room, and we're going to call relatives in the United States, and they're mm -hmm. being told to that come here from Central America. We'll that's continue. why we have the problems that we have on the southern border right Absolutely now. Absolutely right. More on that in just moments with Southeast Texas Weekly continues.